pi terms are dimensionless numbers and are related by functions that are determined by experimental data. These pi terms can be used to analyze the drag force on a skydiver in freefall. Drag force is dependent on width, height, and velocity of the object, and viscosity and density of air. Here, the three reference dimensions are mass, length, and time. Choose R plus 1 terms that together consist of all of the reference dimensions. Here, they are drag force, height, velocity, and density. By putting the variables in the reference dimensions, the power of each variable can be determined. To be dimensionless, all reference dimensions must be cancelled out or their powers add to zero. After choosing I equals 1, the remaining powers can be found. Applying these powers to the corresponding variables produces a pi term. Here, the variables are height, width, velocity, and density. The same process from before is repeated to obtain the second pi term. For the final pi term, the variables are density, velocity, height, and viscosity. Again, the same process yields the third pi term. The third pi term is a special constant known as Reynolds number that is the ratio of the inertial and viscous force on a fluid. The pi terms are related through a function, phi, that can be determined experimentally. While calculating these functions, we had to make some assumptions. Surface area is simplified to a rectangle, and gravity and density of a falling object can be neglected. Because pi term is a dimensionless constant, we can treat it as a variable to solve for another variable. Here, we solve for the drag force. Increasing the height of the skydiver greatly increases the drag force. The higher density of the air closer to the ground increases the drag force of the skydiver, but with much less impact than changing the height. Assuming the same density and falling at terminal velocity, a skydiver on their stomach would have to weigh seven times as much to counteract the drag force to fall at the same speed as a skydiver falling feet first. Here, group member Lee Ferris demonstrates the effects and different variables that take place during freefall. In this portion of the clip, two of the divers go into a feet-first position, reducing their effective height in the direction of the airflow, thus reducing drag force. And now, here's a clip for your viewing pleasure.